Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a more um, outer look for you again. Let's get started. And with outer, I actually mean this time that we're gonna do an eye art. Because, I don't know, like I feel like I haven't done it in a while. But I probably did. I just really enjoy doing eye art. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyways, always we're just going to start off with an eye primer. Next up, we're going to use color. Um, I'm basically just going to do sort of a butterfly wing effect on my eyelids. Uh, however, I don't want to do it extremely detailed. I want to do it a more artsy way. So I'm basically just going to do a colorful smoky eye and then, you know, sort of paint butterfly wings on top of that. Yeah, I don't really have a clear idea in mind either. We're just going to um, start somewhere and see where we end up. And next up I'm just applying orange and uh, don't forget to also be mindful of the shape of your eye lid. Yeah, uh, because I do want a little bit of shadow in the inner corner here as well. So I'm dragging the darker color above the uh, yellow a little bit as well. Like this isn't just supposed to be a backdrop for the butterfly wings. It is also an eye look. So try to make it complement your eye shape. And also in terms of color, I'm using orange and yellow and like warm shades because it works well on me. But obviously you don't need to use the same colors as I do. This could also look really, really cool with like purple and blue if you're more a cool toned type of person. And then the last color and I am going to put that in a line. Because I want it to end in a the line there like I want it to end at an angle. Um, and it's just a lot easier if you at least apply it in sort of a stripe rather than to just slap it on there because then you're going to have to remove an entire whole lot of it. I am still obviously going to like, you know, cover this with eyeliner and I'm also going to do like concealer and stuff. So if I do end up going a little bit too far with the dark color, it doesn't really matter because I still have many opportunities to fix it later in this makeup look. Um, but you're just going to make your own life a whole lot easier if you just don't apply way too much of a dark color to begin with because applying it is easier than removing it obviously. And also obviously take care to just carefully blend everything together again. And really try to just, you know, like I said, try to make this into a good eye look and not just random color splashed onto the eyelid. Like make sure you blend it nicely and it is like a good shape for your eyelid. Uh, considering there is no actual like matte highlighter shade in the palette, I'm just using a different eyeshadow for that purpose. And then spend some more time blending. And then it's time for the fun part, uh, the eyeliner. I do recommend using a pen eyeliner for this instead of one with a brush. I mean, you could do it with one with a brush, but I sort of feel like I have more control with this type of eyeliner. For this particular type of look, yeah. Um, and also try to figure out what you want to do before putting the eyeliner onto your eyeball. Like it's a mistake I've made a lot. And once it's on there, it's on there. So yeah, think first, then act. That's literally all the theory I can tell you about. It's like, let's just get up close and personal and um, go at it.
And then we magically have this. Yes, I've already done my face base as well off camera real quick. Because let's face it, if you want to try this, then you probably don't need me to tell you how to apply foundation and concealer. I think. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're going to start on the bottom of the island now. I'm first going to apply the darkest shade that I used, like between the outer corner lower lashes. Yes, that's very specific, I know, but... I really don't want to like overdo it on the bottom of the eyelid. I do want it even on both eyes, obviously. So yeah, let's keep this subtle. Then orange next to that. And make sure to blend it together with the darker shade, obviously. Uh, only a little bit. And then I'm going to move on to yellow. And I'm literally stopping where basically the lower lashes stop to grow. And we're left with something like this. And then finally we're going to add a little bit of shimmer. I already did it on this eye. Which is just going to be a gold shimmer. Because, well, two reasons. It's the palest shimmer that is in this palette. And also it reminds me of sunlight. Which, you know, fits well with the theme of this look. And then as usual, before I forget, an eye pencil in nude. Oh, and by the way, reason I barely ever curl my eyelashes anymore. Is literally because, well... There's just this, this trick. If you're lazy, this is like the perfect trick. I always wear a sleeping mask at night. And um, if you like, if you like open your eyes, if you look up, put it on, then close your eyes. It literally like pushes your eyelashes up. And as long as you wear one that is like not too tight, because well, for one, that's uncomfortable. But also that squishes your eyelashes too much. But if you just wear one that is just tight enough to be comfortable, yet push your eyelashes upwards, it's literally going to just curl your eyelashes while you sleep. And the best part, it literally stays curled for like days. Even without mascara, even if you like skip wearing the sleeping mask for a couple of nights, like your eyelashes will still stay curled and it's like so handy, like seriously. Because like I said, it's perfect for lazy people and I can be really, really, really lazy. But yeah, that's just seriously my favorite life hack. And then the lips, I think I might actually go for black. And that leaves us with the final result. And uh, by the way, if you're a beginning makeup artist and are wondering, wondering maybe like when does it ever get easier to do like black lipstick? Well, it doesn't. It never gets easy to do black lipstick. It doesn't matter how much experience you have. Black lipstick is and will always be the dis most difficult color to apply because it's so dark. So there's such a big contrast with your skin and it's just really going to like every single minuscule little thing that you might have done not completely perfectly will be very obvious so what i always do is i apply the lipstick as well as i possibly can and then i do to do a little bit of a clean up around around my mouth with uh, concealer and a very tiny brush just to make sure that it's as like nice as i can possibly get it uh, on the bright side it does make your teeth look really really white which is nice um, but yeah, anyway, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how this eye look turned out, by the way. Like, the most difficult part is to get it sort of even on both eyes. Like, the, the, the good thing is, it's like, it's sort of wiggly lines. So, it doesn't really show that much if it's not completely perfectly, like, mirrored. But, you know, you, you do want to, like, have it sort of mirrored. So, it needs to be even enough that it looks even, you know? Yeah. Either way, I'm, I'm pleased with how this turned out. Um, this is, by the way, just a lot of fun to do. So, like, if you're, like... Wondering, well, should I even try this? Please do try it and please have fun with it because this is just, it's fun to do, but it's also just a really fun challenge, you know, because like you're literally focused on just making the, ni the nicest lines you possibly can and then like the tiny dots and it's a lot of fun. The end result, even if you mess it up slightly, is still probably going to look just fine because that's the beauty of a look like this. There's so much going on that even if you make a tiny mistake, it's not really going to show that much and it's still going to look cool. Um, so yeah, if you want to know exactly what products I used for this eye look, you can find it below the video in the description in the list. Uh, but obviously you don't need to use the exact same products to get similar results. I do really love this white uh, liner by the way. Like it's really really bright even on top of a black liner. But if you have other eyeliners and stuff that work well for you, just use them, you know. Like you don't need to use the exact same products I did. Um, if you want to see more of my videos by the way, you can always subscribe to my channel. I mostly do makeup tutorials, also do nail arts. I'm not wearing acrylic right now because I didn't have time to do my nails because I wanted to do this. So don't look at my hands. I feel incomplete. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that's the sort of stuff I do on my channel. Yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It will really help me out because it makes YouTube sister videos more often to new people. And that's all I have to say for today. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.